please refer to your local protocol or medical oversight for the preferred technique. The Junctional Emergency Treatment Tool, or JET, includes two pressure devices in a single tool, allowing for simultaneous occlusion of blood flow to both lower limbs with an easy-to-apply, pre-assembled, ready-to-use belt solution. The unique design of the JET allows for patient transport while the device is in place and includes a lanyard and toggle solution to ensure that the windlass axle does not loosen due to vibration or bumps during transport. In cases where there are bilateral injuries, the JET offers a simple, safe solution for occluding blood flow to both lower extremities. This expanded capability is built into every JET, meaning that with standardized application training, the device will be pre-positioned for rapid bilateral deployment, whether applying for a unilateral or bilateral injury. High extremity wounds in the thigh groin region where tourniquets cannot be placed or are less effective require equipment such as the jet to stop bleeding and potentially save the life of a casualty that would otherwise bleed out in minutes. Penetrating trauma, blast injuries, and amputation are examples of injuries that may require treatment with this device. Step 1 and 2, Assessment and Patient Preparation. Determine that the injury is not amenable to treatment with a standard tourniquet, for example, high in the thigh and or groin region. Remove any gear, items in pockets, or debris that might interfere with the placement of the jet or cause additional trauma. Determine if a bilateral or unilateral application is required. Step 3. Device Deployment Open and unroll the device in preparation for application. Slide the belt with this side toward casualty label facing up under the body at the lower back. Locate the superior iliac crest and pubic bone which are connected by the inguinal ligament. Lifting the hips, position the belt under the buttocks so that the buttocks pad is centered behind the casualty and the pressure pads are immediately below, inferior to, the inguinal ligament. Palpate to determine the location of the inguinal ligament. Angle the pressure pads parallel to the inguinal ligament, approximately 30 degrees, pointing midline toward the feet, making sure that both pads are correctly positioned. Ensure that the casualty's genitals are clear of the area where the pads will be positioned. Buckle the belt, then firmly tighten by pulling the loop handle while stabilizing the belt with your other hand. Remove all slack. Reassess the pad placement to ensure that they are still in the correct location below the inguinal ligament. With one hand on the base plate, grip the threaded T-handle and rotate it clockwise to tighten. Increase pressure until bright red bleeding stops and hemostasis is achieved. If the extremity is intact, check to confirm that the distal pulse has been occluded. Insert the toggle into the opening on the threaded T-handle and cinch it tight at the base plate in order to secure the device. Repeat as necessary with the other threaded T-handle for bilateral injuries. Note the time of application on writable area. Step 4. Monitoring jet and patient reassessment. Assess frequently to ensure that bleeding is still controlled. Assess after any movement to ensure that pressure pads are in correct location and that the pressure was not reduced during movement. Device should only be removed under physician supervision. For more information on the JET or any NAR product, please visit www.narescue.com or call 888-689-6277.